When you use Ephraim to square off against Leon in their final confrontation, Ephraim says, Here I come, Leon. While Leon never answers Ephraim's call in Fire Emblem, the Sacred Stones, in Heroes, he does. Well, come then. I've said time and time again that I think Leon is one of the most dynamic and interesting villains in Fire Emblem. And these three words, well, come then, Leon's special activation quote in Heroes, is a perfect summarization of Leon's relationship with Ephraim. Just playing through Fire Emblem 8, we learn a lot about Leon and his relationship with the twins. Leon is smart, caring, and thoughtful to the people of his nation. Like his father, he would follow in his footsteps for a nation of peace. And while he had all these great aspects about himself, he would continue to struggle with what he was not, strong and brave. Throughout the twins' time in Grotto, learning under the tutelage of the finest of knights and smartest of scholars, Leon gains affection towards Erica, but he is never able to confess his love towards her. And during his sparring sessions with Ephraim, he would never be able to defeat him. And while Leon would continue to struggle with who he was not, Leon succumbs to the sweet call of the Demon King due to the anxiety built up because of his father's death, the responsibility of the throne, and because of the imminent disaster that seemed to be looming over his homeland of Grotto. There are two types of Leon that make an appearance throughout the game. The Leon with the standard speech bubble with white box and black text like the rest of the cast is the same Leon that the twins grew up with, though because of the influence of the Demon King, there seems to be times in which he would act irrationally. This depiction of Leon would be more commonly seen in Erica's route because he is still madly in love with her and uses his caring nature to confront her, opposed to the Leon with the black box and white text. This Leon is the Demon King using Leon as a puppet to speak. This depiction of Leon is much more commonly seen in Ephraim's route. In Ephraim's route, we see Leon be portrayed as someone who had fully given away his body towards the Demon King. The jealousy that Leon has against Ephraim is manifested in the Demon King, and Leon comes out against him, aggressive, hoping to finally come out on top. And while throughout Ephraim's route, the Demon King would continuously use Leon as his puppet to speak to Ephraim, in the final confrontation between the two, he's willing to face Ephraim as he is himself. And when Ephraim says, here I come, Leon, Leon, as if he's summarizing his relationship with Ephraim throughout the years, replies, well, come then. 